Okay, so here is the famous boat anchor and log demonstration. So what I have here is a tank, an aquarium, and I have marked the line of water that the aquarium has that fills a container, and I'm going to put a boat in the water, and I'm going to put an anchor in the boat, and we can see that the line of in the aquarium Jeff definitely went up. So the entire weight of this anchor, so to speak, has been displaced and pushed up. So this boat, this plastic boat, is using its vol volume to displace the weight of the container. I'm going to put now the um, log, and its entire weight is being displaced by the volume of the boat. It's pushing it up. So now I'm going to draw a new line. Okay, and this line is above. So obviously, if I was to measure this amount of water above these lines, that amount of water, using its density as 1, if we want to assume that, we would get a mass of the water, and that mass would reflect the buoyant force. Because Archimedes' principle states that the mass of the displaced fluid equals the buoyant force. Now, some people say weight, but we're just going to cancel out the um, uh, acceleration to gravity in both counts. So we're just comparing the masses here. Now, here's the problem. When I take out the anchor, what happens to the level of the water? Well, take out the, I'm sorry, take out the log first. Okay, we put the log here. Hard to see, but clearly the line didn't change much. In fact, the line didn't change at all. The weight of the log or the piece of wood was being displaced by the boat. And when I threw it overboard, it's still displacing enough of its volume to support its mass. So the same volume being displaced by the wood here was the same volume being displaced by the boat. The boat was carrying all of its weight. But because the volume here for this object is big enough to support its own mass, it floats. Now, what happens when we put the anchor overboard? Well, we would expect, well, and that was a good, good riddle for a lot of people, we'd expect maybe the boat to come up, and, but what would happen to this line right here? What would happen to the line on the aquarium? And most people would say the line would go up. You're putting a heavy object overboard. Let's do that. Let's bring, take this anchor and throw it overboard. Okay. And what we see, okay, what we see is a line that just went down. We started here with the boat, and we went down. The line went clearly down. Not what people expect. And the reasoning is very simple. It went down because the anchor doesn't have enough volume to support a buoyant force to make it float. And the boat, all of its weight was being displaced by the boat. And the boat had enough volume to use up to support all of its mass or its weight. Whereas here, its volume is, was not enough to support its weight, so it sank. Therefore, there was less displaced water using its volume. Here, all of its weight was displaced by more volume. Under the water, it doesn't have enough volume. Therefore, the line goes down.